안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. In today's video, I want to show you how we can run Python in our browser using PyScript. We all know that JavaScript is the king of the web. This is not because developers chose to make it king of the web. It's because there was no other choice. The programming language that browsers have always understood is JavaScript. JavaScript and JavaScript only. Until now. Python is another programming language that has a beautiful, beautiful syntax, a huge developer community that is using Python for building backends, UI applications, AI, data science, among many other things. Now imagine how cool would it be if we could use Python in the browser instead of JavaScript. How cool would it be if we could bring all this developer community, all this ecosystem, all these amazing packages to the browser? That would be amazing, that would be awesome, that is exactly what PyScript was created for. PyScript is a framework that allows developers to build dynamic applications using only HTML and Python. It was created by Anaconda, which they are already a big player in the Python space, and the way it works is pretty cool, but that comes later. First, I want to show you the code and give you a tiny tour of what you can do with TypeScript by building a tiny application that I like to call the Python Casino. But first, as always, let's start with a hello world. To start using PyScript, all we have to do first is create an HTML document. And on the head, we're going to load PyScript by importing a JavaScript file. I am also going to add Pico CSS to make our page look pretty. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get started with PyScript. To use it, now all we have to do is open a tag called py-script. And inside of this tag, we can write Python code, like for example, print hello world. Now using the live server extension of Visual Studio Code, I am going to run a server and we will see how the print statement shows up on the screen. And that's it, that is hello world. We just ran Python in our browser. As you can see, it's pretty cool already, but this is not the best. Inside of the PyScript tags, we can also import modules from the Python standard library, like for example, the daytime module, and we can use it just like we would do it on a normal Python file. But that is not all. With another tag called pyenv, we are able to import Python files and even other packages to our application. For this, we put the pyenv tag in the head and we write down the packages or files that we want to use. Here, for example, we could import numpy or matplotlib if we wanted to do some data visualization. If I create a Python file and write a tiny function inside of it, I can later add the file to the pyenv and I can later use the function in my HTML. Also, if you don't really like writing Python code inside of the HTML because it looks ugly and it doesn't look good, you can use import your Python files using the src attribute of the PyScript tag. But again, that is not all. So we have seen how we can run Python code in the browser, which is already super, super cool, but it still is not the best. The best, in my opinion, is the fact that if we want to, we are able to communicate with the HTML on the page from our Python code. To see this, let's build our Python casino. For this, we are going to create an input and a button. The input will be a number input where the user will guess a number between 1 and 50. We will divide this to the input and the button and we will add a special attribute to the button element. The attribute is called pies on click, which allows me to tell the Py script to execute a Python function when the button is clicked. The function we want to run when the user clicks the button is called play game, but we haven't created that function yet, so let's do so. But remember, if you want to learn to code for free with me and you want to learn things like Python or JavaScript or React or React Native or Redux or GraphQL or Go or TypeScript, among many other things for free and with subtitles in Hangul Go, then please click the link below and I will see you there. On the Python side, I want to first get the value of the input that I created on my HTML. For this, I will use element, which allows me to get an element by the ID. Now that we have the input element, I can access its value and put it on a variable. After that, we will get a random number between 1 and 50 using the random module from the Python standard library. If the number the user chose and the number the machine picked are the same, that means the user won, else the user lost. But we have to communicate this outcome to the user. For this, we're going to create an h1 tag in our HTML and we're going to give it an ID. Back in the Python file, using element again, we're going to grab that h1 tag. Using a very similar API to JavaScript, we will access the inner text of the h1 and we will tell the user if they won or lost. 
And at the end, we're going to clear the input so the user can play again. And we are done. As you can see, the user can now write things on the input. They can click on the button and they will see a result. We are manipulating the HTML from our Python code. Now, please, in the comments, let me know how cool do you think this is? I think this is amazing. It's so freaking cool. On the PyScript GitHub repository, you can find many examples of what is possible with PyScript. Like for example, this code that shows you how easy it is to make and show a Python plot on the web importing NumPy and Matplotlib. Before we finish, let's look at the black magic being used to make PyScript work. As we saw at the start, if we want to use PyScript, we have to import a JavaScript file in our HTML. Does this mean that PyScript is running on JavaScript? Not really. PyScript works thanks to something called Pyodide and WebAssembly. Pyodide is a port of C Python, which is an interpreter of Python, but compiled to WebAssembly. WebAssembly isn't a programming language. It is more of a compilation target. Just like when you, for example, finish writing a C program and you decide to compile it to Windows or Linux or MacBook Intel or MacBook M1. The same way you can build something in C, like C Python is, and compile that to WebAssembly. Now, WebAssembly is a binary code format that browsers understand as well. So basically, PyScript is using WebAssembly to embed a C Python interpreter in our browser. And because of the magic of WebAssembly, we are also able to talk to the HTML. Even though what we've seen today is pretty cool, PyScript is still very, very young. Now, it completely exploded on GitHub. It already has more than 10,000 stars but it's very beta and it's very unstable. So we're going to maybe have to wait for a long time for the documentation to grow more, for the software to be more stable and for things to work well. For now, we can just try to hack and build experimental stuff with PyScript and see if we find any bugs, if we find any problems, we can report them and help in the GitHub repository to make this beautiful, crazy and awesome idea grow. Now I am curious about what you think think. Let me know in the comments, what is your opinion about PyScript? Are you excited? Are you afraid? Are you going to use it? Do you want to learn PyScript? Should I make a longer video on PyScript, making something more complex? Please let me know. I am so curious about what the developer community thinks. Thank you so much for watching as always. And don't forget, if you want to learn to code for free with me and with subtitles in Hangugo, please click the link below. And also, if you like this content and you would like to support the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. It's free for you. It's just two clicks, but it helps me a lot. Thank you for watching as always. Stay happy, stay free. Eat kimchi, kamsamida, saranheyo. See you in the next one. Bye bye.